Hi there. In Chains of Reasoning, we take a topic and we try to build a chain of uh, reasoned analysis to score good marks and revise the topic along the way. So here's one on uh, what is often the tricky topic for students, the elasticity of supply. And here's our question. Explain how the level of spare capacity affects price elasticity of supply. It's always a good idea to define a key term. So price elasticity of supply measures the relationship between a change in quantity supplied and a change in the product's own price. And spare capacity is when a business's current level of production is below the maximum output possible in the short run. This means for a business there's some spare labour, maybe some spare land and capital inputs available to use. So we've defined our terms, it's clear to the examiner we know what spare capacity means. Now we have to just reason the link between spare capacity and the elasticity of supply. And here it is. If there is spare capacity, then the business can increase output without a rise in unit costs. And thus, supply will be price elastic if there is an outward shift of demand. So there's a nice clear explanation, clear reasoning. Supply is elastic if the coefficient of price elasticity of, of supply is greater than one. For example, a construction company might have spare capacity towards the end of a recession. And you could develop the application there. They've got some spare land, they've got some spare labour, they've got some spare stocks of cement and bricks and things. And they could quite easily increase their output of new homes and shops, for example, if there was an increase in demand. So the key there is to make a clear causal connection between the amount of spare capacity a business has and the speed and the ease with which they can increase production if there is an outward shift of demand. And uh, you would support this answer, of course, with diagrams. So on the right-hand side, uh, we have an inelastic supply, supply fairly unresponsive to a change in demand, and that would be when there's a relatively small level of spare capacity. Whereas on the left-hand side, the supply curve is drawn as more elastic. If demand curve shifts out from D1 to D2, businesses are able to, to meet that increase in demand without a significant rise in price. Now we focused our attention in this video on spare capacity. Keep in mind, of course, there are several factors that affect elasticity of supply. We've talked about spare capacity. That's been our focus in this video. Another key one is the level of stocks available for, for firms to bring to market if there's a change in demand and the, the time frame it takes to get products to market. Example there being Domino's Pizza if there's an increase in online demand. And crucially, the ease and cost of factor substitution. If a business is uh, producing a range of products, how easily can they switch their capital and their labour to, uh, to increase production of, of, of a product whose demand is going up? But we focused in this question on the link between spare capacity and elasticity of supply.